promoting um, a curriculum which involves sexual education, sex education in, in Kenya. Madam Speaker, this particular policy has come of age in Kenya due to the fact that we are experiencing a great transformation in digital, digital digitalization in Kenya and uh, young people, especially adolescents, get access to a lot of information way beyond their age. So it is important to introduce uh, this education policy, this curriculum, I mean to include uh, sex education in the, in the curriculum in our schools. Madam Speaker, if you visit each and every home currently where the, we have adolescent children, you will find that they, al almost all of them have uh, a mobile phone, they access internet, they access all manner of information on multiple issues, even including uh, pornography, which, which they are not supposed to be exposed to. So to, to bring this, ma to, to, to navigate through this space, we, we should look at the curriculum in our schools. At the moment, the teachers and the curriculum is so packed with a lot of uh, content and little is paid attention. The scope pays at very, very uh, a small, uh, the scope pays very or little attention to, to, uh, to, to sexuality. Madam Speaker, we have uh, adolescents, adolescent children have a lot of challenges. For example, some don't understand the, how the, the processes of their, of, their, of their bodies. And this information needs to be given to them. Some even go through menstrual circles without their knowledge. Some even get involved in sexual activities without their knowledge at a very young age. Uh, research has shown that uh, most of the Kenyan children have at 15, to, I mean, between most of the Kenyan children between 15 to 19 years, almost 2% of them, 2% have had sexual experience and some have ended up getting pregnant.